Hello friends, in the previous two videos, we learned how to use the PySerial library to communicate with an Arduino using a Windows or a Linux operating system. We have covered both the Windows section and the Linux section separately. You can check it out from our channel. Now in this section, we are going to learn about the serial port ex exceptions found inside the PySerial library. Uh, PySerial library has a single exception which is known as the serial exception. Uh, this can be used to exit from an error condition in a graceful manner. Uh, I will show you how the system works with and without the exceptions. So we are going to write a small program and we will see how this thing will behave in case of an error. Uh, we also have a web page here. This one, you can find the link to that web page in the description. Now we have a small program here. Uh, this pro program does not have any exceptions. It's going to import the serial library here and then it will attempt to open a ser serial port connection to the uh, specified COM port. And then it will print the details of the serial port right here. So I have a Arduino connected to COM4. So if I run this program, this will open the connection. There will be no issues here. So I'm going to run this thing. And we'll show that it, the open is true. We are able to open the serial port, which is connected to COM4. Now we are going to create an error condition. So for making the error condition, we are making that the user is entering a ROM COM, COM port. Here I will just enter COM5. Uh, this COM port does not ex exist. Now I'll run this program and it will generate an error. So you can see that it has generated a large traceback like this. Now we will use the serial port exception so that the program will fail gracefully. For that we have to use the serial port exception. For that you can use it something like this. You can type try colon then we will enclose the whole thing except serial dot serial exception we will just print that an exception has occurred that's it now we will run this So you can see the difference right here. Uh, we in both cases we are encountering a wrong serial port, serial port, which is COM5. In the first case, you can see that this whole thing is dumped onto the terminal. Now we only have this one. An exception has occurred, which is a more meaningful error message compared to the first one. So we can also give more details. For example, what is the cause of the exception that has occurred here? So for that we can have to uh, get the exception, the data in the exception and print it out. So we will use something like that. So all the data Now what does cost exception will be returned in this variable where which we can print right here. Save it and we will run it. 
So here you can see that it is printing that exception has occurred. And the reason why it is happening is that it, we were not able to open the COM port COM file. And we'll also give the error, the file not find error, because it's not able to find out where COM, COM port is, COM5 is. So this is how we use the exception. Now I'm going to show you another case. For example, I will show you that what happens when the port is in use. For example, some other program is using the port. Now I have an Arduino connected here to my system. Uh, it is connected to the COM port COM4 and it is sending data. So I will use another serial program called as PuTTY. Now I will go for the serial part and I will change it to COM4. Now I will open it. So you can see that the Arduino is constantly sending data to the this program which is the PuTTY. Now we are going to run our own program. This one. So we will be trying to open the COM port 4 which is used by the other program. So let's see what will happen. Yeah, same thing here. We will see that the exception has occurred. And it is not able to open COM4 permission error because other software is using the program. So in this way we can differentiate the causes. So this is how you use a serial port exception in Pi serial. Here we can see that we are using serial dot serial here, and we are using serial dot serial exception here. Uh, if you don't want to use this serial part, you can use aliases. For example, you can just type as import serial as the letter S. So instead of serial, you can just substitute S here. So it will be s dot serial, and same here for the serial exception. Instead of serial, you can just write s. Now, system will work same way. No issues. So this is how we use an alias instead of the complete serial. I just want to tell that too. You can also use an else clause in the uh, exception. Now if you like my video, do like and if you like this type of content, do subscribe. We also have other videos uh, regarding the Python and PySerial. You can check it out in our channel. Also uh, the link to the website is also there. I will leave the link in the description. Hope you enjoyed it. Thank you.